it's interesting because in India we still have a lot of missionaries doing similar similar work um, similar work and as you say an apology costs nothing when would India even get the verbal apology do you think is it foreseeable what would the missionaries still being there converting this is inevitable it's going to happen as India struggles to get up from its knees you know it was it was crushed its identity, its self-awareness was driven into the dust. And what's happening now is that national and civilizational identity is slowly dusting itself down and learning to stand from being literally on its knees. And as it dusts itself down, it starts to revisit its own history. It starts to revisit what was done to it. And in that process, it's now beginning to find the vocabulary. It's beginning to find the words with which to organize its thinking. And what it's going to say is it's going to say this was done to us in the same way that the indigenous um, people of Australia, the indigenous people of Canada, the indigenous people of Africa, the indigenous people of the Americas are all beginning to find their voice in the English language. Bharat is also finding its voice. You know, I'm proud to say that we're a part of that process. And when Bharat also acquires the vocabulary to be able to articulate clearly that this is what was done to us, this is the process that has to be followed so that we can heal from the trauma that you inflicted upon us, that's when all of a sudden we will get uh, a flurry of apologies. Um, you may recall that uh, Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, he went to Jallianwalabagh, yeah. where effectively a Christian commander in the military, the, Indian, the British Indian Army, he shot and ordered the massacre, the slaughter of unarmed civilians. Yes. And... That has never been formally apologized or acknowledged by a government. There are lots of regrets that have been extended, but you see an apology is an acknowledgement of responsibility. Yes. Whereas an expression of regret, it doesn't carry that same weight. And so nobody um, in that scenario has offered a genuine apology. We hope it will be coming. But this is, you're absolutely right, Bharat has this journey to um, go along as well. And that journey is underway, it is started, and it's inevitable. We will see in a time in the near future a Pope. We will see um, the appearance of uh, the archbishops um, in their remorseful mood more and more. And I, I'm confident that the Pope will also visit India and apologise at some stage. Yes, yes, no, absolutely. Um, it's wonderful having apologies, and as I say, India is still overdue an apology. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.